Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a singles contest scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit. The stipulations of this match is that the winner will be the last man to enter the Pure Wrestling Rumble later this evening. And the loser will be the first person to have to enter the Pure Wrestling Rumble. Introducing first, he hails from Cambridge, Ontario and weighs in at 252 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, give a warm welcome to the mixed martial arts superstar, Kesa Colhoun! Well, here he is, the, the absolute man, the meanest wrestler in Canada, the big dog, the thousand other nicknames that he has, but he, he earned every single one of them. There he is, the big dog, Gaza Coleman Jr., who doesn't look to be in gear. No, he's walking out here tonight, Joey. What's going on with that? He looks like he's limping, favoring his leg. I didn't hear about any training accidents or something. Maybe he's going to come out here and let us know what's going on. This would be horrible if the big dog is injured. Absolutely, especially on his per pursuit of the uh, Pure Wrestling Championship. He, uh, Gaze's... You don't, you're not in your wrestling gear. What? Where's the key? All right. You know what? This is the best house PWA has seen here at the French Club. And unfortunately, by uh, medical orders today from my doctor, I've been ceased all physical activity, including wrestling, MMA, anything for now, but... Look at the face. When I looked around the back, I found myself, well, hopefully a suitable replacement for this match. This kid will be, hopefully, the next rising star here in the PWA. I guess it's a rip. Rip impact? Yeah. No, unfortunately it isn't. My replacement for tonight is gonna be Jay Phoenix. So Jay, let's play Jay Phoenix's music here. Well, that's a, that is sad news, but, I mean, you, you got to give it to Kaysa Coleman for even walking out here tonight. I mean, with the, uh, you can see the, you can see the face of Kaysa Coleman Jr., the, the lip sticking out like that. Heck, that doesn't look healthy. No, but uh, I don't know if uh, a lip would keep him out of the ring. He's supposed to cease all physical activity. I don't get it. But he's giving us Jay Phoenix. And he's uh, yeah, definitely one of the rising young stars now that he doesn't hang around with those juggalos. He hails from Calgary, Alberta, and weighs in at 221 pounds. Representing the Heart Dungeon, Rafi Silverstein. Well, there he is. As, you, as uh, Jeff said, re represent the, uh, the Heart Dungeon. It doesn't get much tougher than that. That's for sure, and I can attest to that myself. And Ruffy Silverstein, one of the most popular men in PWA, Canada, and uh, dare I say the world. Well, Jay Phoenix. Here we go now. Jay Phoenix, Ruffy Silverstein. Whoever wins this one is number third. Uh, whoever wins this one is the last entrant. Fans telling Phoenix to tap before the bell even rings. And uh, he's not liking that one bit. He may not be wearing the face paint and the tassels of the juggalos anymore, but the fans don't like him any more than they used to. Yeah, that's right. Ruffy Silverstein rallying these fans behind him. Tie up here. Knee to the gut by Jay Phoenix. I got to admit, I'm uh, I'm upset about the news from Gaza Coleman Jr. Uh, I, I know I'm not really supposed to say this, but uh, Gaza Coleman Jr. is one of my favorite wrestlers. And, uh, I mean, as, as the owner, you're supposed to say impartial or whatever, but, I mean, he's, he's Gaza Coleman Jr. What else can I say? 
Yeah, as the owner, you're supposed to do a lot of things, Joey, and uh, staying impartial is not the only thing you've been delinquent in. But anyways, we got a great match going on right here with Murphy Silverstein taking it to young Jay Phoenix, and uh, this is a match I personally have been waiting to see for some time. I thought we were cool, Wizard. I thought we were cool. Aren't we cool? Aren't we cool? We're totally cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Uh, suplex there by Robbie Silverstein. Oh, the... Machine gun! There goes the there goes the machine gun chance. Robbie Silverstein, one of his uh, one of his uh, patented moves. That's for sure. And uh, Jay Phoenix is gonna have ears like Eddie Osborne if he gets a much more of that. And there's a beautiful vertical suplex. Look at that hang time. That's right. Speaking of Ruffy Silverstein, patented moves. Oh, the hanging vertical suplex. Ruffy Silverstein, beautiful maneuver there. Yeah, and uh, this guy Ruffy Silverstein recognized uh, the 2006. Uh, most technical wrestler 2006 BWA wrestler of the year places very high in my top 50 wrestlers of Ontario ranking for 2006 you just can't say enough about Ruffy Silverstein and Jay Phoenix the best of the new crop of youngsters in Ontario in 2006 this is a match for the ages unfolding right here and unfortunate circumstances from Gazer Coleman that led to it but the fans are digging it yeah that's right especially for Jay Phoenix to be representing Gaza here he's got a He's got to feel special about that, I'll tell you that. Big old big stomp to the stomp to the throat here by Jay Phoenix. Ravi Silverstein, as we said, uh, as, as Jeff said, and as I said, uh, Heart Dungeon graduate Ravi Silverstein, you can see him going for that sharpshooter, and uh, that's, ca that's Canada's favorite move. Oh, but there's those hard knife edge chops by Ravi Silverstein. Yeah, being a Heart Dungeon graduate, he can go in any body part he wants. Uh, he, know, he can just dismantle that whole body. And there he is, driving the face into the mat and going for the cover after that bulldog. Oh, kick out there by Jay Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix, you know, he's a resilient bastard, and he won't give up. He keeps fighting back, but uh, he's in there against a master right now, one of, uh, one of Ontario's best in Ruffy Silverstein. And as we can see, the flow of this match is starting to go in Ruffy's favor, and it looks like he could be the last man to enter the Rumble at this rate. Oh, absolutely. Hard in the, cor hard in the corner there goes Jay Phoenix. Whoop! Big heart stomped to the face there by Phoenix. And now, whoa, up the top there, look at that big cross body. Two kick out by Ruffy Silverstein. Even after that big hard cross body by uh, by Jay Phoenix flying through the air, and now a, a blatant choke there by Jay Phoenix. Ref's going to call him on it. Yeah, that's for sure. Although it, it's a bit of a stretch to expect a, a cross body off the second rope to uh, pin anybody, especially somebody of Ruffy's stature. But there's Phoenix there using some of those Juggalo Nation tricks that he picked up in that tenure, and he's starting to uh, to take it a little harder and a little stiffer to Ruffy Silverstein right now. That's right, scooping up Ruffy here. Whoop, scooping him up, oh look at this! Oh, hard slam down there by Jay Phoenix, into the ropes he goes! Beautiful knee drop, roll through knee drop there by Jay Phoenix, what a move that was! One, two, kick out by Ruby. Yeah, what a lot of fans may not know is that uh, Jay Phoenix is one of only a few hand-picked people to be training under the uh, auspicious Johnny Devine right now in a hidden camp somewhere, and you can see some of that showing in that knee drop. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, but Ruffy here. These fans rallying behind Ruffy Silverstein. Getting to his feet here. Oh, elbows to the gut. Ruffy Silverstein firing back. Into the ropes he goes. Hard boot by Jay Phoenix. DDT Jay Phoenix. Jay Phoenix rolling him up here. One, two. Oh, kick out by Ruffy Silverstein in the last second. A beautiful counter, a beautiful attack with that DDT, and then a lazy cover right there. I think that if, uh, if Phoenix had been more focused on winning this match instead of showing off to this jam-packed house here at the French Club, he might have snagged it right there. Well, that could just be, but uh, speaking of showing off, Jay Phoenix is going way up. Moonsault by Jay Phoenix! As you said, hot shot Johnny Devine has got to have some influence on that. Rolling out of the way does Ruby Silverstein. Yeah, but hot shot Johnny Devine doesn't drive his own nerds into the mat when he does it. Yeah, that's a good point. Up to his feet here, Ruby Silverstein. Look at this now. Oh, big hard clothesline. Another big back elbow there by Ruby Silverstein on a roll. Has Jay Phoenix into the ropes, goes Phoenix. Oh, a big hard power slam. Ruby Silverstein won. Two. Kick out by Jay Phoenix. Yeah, he's not going to give up yet, but he's a hurting unit right now. You can see how explosive the high-impact offense of Ruffy Silverstein can be. That's right. Once he gets geared up. Oh, look at this. Up on the shoulders here. Could be going for that uh, circumcised TKO here. Oh, look at that. Pulls him down hard with that, with that TKO here. One, two. Whoa. Ruffy Silverstein getting kind of cocky here. I don't know. 
Crosby Silverstein. Oh, he wants to go for that sharpshooter. Canada's favorite move. Yeah, he's uh, he's determined he's going to make Phoenix top. That's what the fans want. Ruffy's a man of the people. So now we'll see what this kid Phoenix has got. Well, Gaza, Gaza having some words here. Oh, but Jay's tapping. Jay Phoenix is tapping. Gaza Coleman having some words there on the. Uh, didn't see it though, Joey. The ref was over there with Gaza. He didn't see that. He didn't see the tap, but up and over goes Phoenix. Lands hard, bounces his head there. On the outside, Jay Phoenix. Gaza Coleman Jr. there. Gaza Coleman, oh, Ruffy Silverstein's going to take him in the hard way here. Look at this vertical suplex. Oh, but Gaza grabs legs. Two. He did it. Gaza Coleman Jr. sticking around ringside, grabs the feet of Ruffy or Silverstein. Jay Phoenix able to reverse it, and what a win. The, the PWA record books say that Jay Phoenix beat Ruffy Silverstein. That means that means Jay Phoenix is number is the last entrance, and Ruffy's number one. Stipulations of the match. Jay Phoenix will be the last man to enter the rumble. And the first man to enter the Pure Wrestling Rumble will be Ruffy Silverstein. That's true. That's true. Phoenix is a goon. That's right, he did tap out. Jay Phoenix, Ruffy Silverstein. Heck of a match up there. As we said, Gaza Coleman with the assist. Uh, they're scooping the feet down. And uh, Lennon Hart on top of uh, Ruffy Silverstein there was Jay Phoenix, who picks up the win, and he's the last entrant in the uh, the Pure Rumble. Yeah, a heck of a spot for him to be in. A very, very tough spot for Ruffy Silverstein to be. But again, Ruffy put himself there. He had that man pinned, and he chose to break it off and put on that sharpshooter. Gaza saw his opportunity. He grabbed it, and, uh, you know, there you go. Jay Phoenix walks into... Uh, into the last spot for the, uh, the the Rumble, pretty much the same way he walks into a lot of things around here. He gets tag team titles handed to him, and uh, and now he gets a, a great spot in that Rumble handed to him as That's well. That's right. Thanks to the big dog, Gaza Coleman Jr.